Chapter 2, Lesson 2, Create and Call Procedures, Snow People with Procedures. Learning target, I can create and call scene procedures for Snow People animation. I can create scene procedures, I could add comments to the procedure, I can call the procedures. Let's take a look at step 3, Implement the Design. Implement the design means we are writing procedures. We'll do a stepwise refinement by creating scene procedures and then calling the procedures. When we do create scene procedures, we are going to create get attention, get rejected, get disappointed, and uh, some of you may have the end. That's an optional procedure. Once we have all the four procedures created, and then we would call the procedures. My first method. Now don't forget to do incremental development as you write the code. Now in step 3, when we talk about implementing scene procedures, we are going to be creating procedures that would look like this. We would create the three procedures in class scene. The first procedure would be get attention. We're going to write comment and we're going to add a code. A second procedure would be get rejected and then we're going to add a comment and then we're going to write a code. And a third procedure is going to be get disappointed. We're going to add a comment and write a code. And then we'll have our fourth procedure that's optional, the end. Once we have our three or four procedures created, we will test by calling the procedure in my first method. We would first select my first method tab. Then we would select this in the instant menu that this would refer to the scene. And then we would drag get attention, we would drag get rejected, we would drag get disappointed into my first method and editor area. And the last step we would do is click run to test to see if our program works correctly. Now watch the video lecture to complete the snow people animation by creating scene procedures, get attention, get rejected, get disappointed, end is an optional procedure. And once you're done creating your procedures, you will call the procedures in my first method. I will create a procedure for the scene and call it in my first method. Now the reason we are going to create a scene procedure is because we have our objects in our world and they are going to be interacting with each other. So when I write my instructions, it's just not going to be only for one object. So one object is interacting with the second object. So this panda is interacting with this panda. So it's difficult to write instructions, class level instructions, when they are interacting with each other. But we'll do that in future using parameters. But right now, in order to not create parameters, we'll just use a scene procedure. So the first thing, so we're just going to create a scene level procedure. So the first thing we want to do is go to a class menu, drop this arrow down, go to scene, and click on the scene tab and you see my first method is already available in the scene so now in here we're going to add scene procedure so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to give my procedure name as get attention keep in mind we're going to follow the camel case two words no space in between and the second word has an uppercase press OK. And as soon as we created our get attention procedure, the first thing we want to do is write a comment. Let's drag this comment from here to our code editor area and let's write our comment in here, get attention. And then we're going to write our code in here. But remember, we already have a code, so we're not going to rewrite the code again. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do cut and paste. So remember, all our code is available in my first method. So I'm going to go to my first method, and I'm going to take this first logical part of my code, the first do in order, and I'm going to click, hold, drag it, and I'm going to drop it in my clipboard here. Now, if you see, when I put my mouse over the clipboard, the color changes. That means I'm now ready to put my content into the clipboard. I'm going to release my mouse. So this is cut. Now, I need to paste it. Where do I paste it? I go to my procedure, get attention. And I'm going to drag the content from here and drop it over here. 
So this is how I would do cut and paste. Now let's go back to my first method again and let's go to my class menu again and let's go to scene class and let's click on scene tab and let's create a second scene procedure and call it as get rejected and then press OK. Same thing, add a comment and uh, Panda Felix gets rejected spelling mistake now we're going to again cut and paste because we have the code for it already so I'm going to go to my first method and I'm going to take my second logical part that's do in order the second do in order I'm going to drag that and drop it over my clipboard and then I'm going to go to my get rejected procedure and I'm going to drag and drop to paste it now again we go to my first method and go to the class scene create another scene procedure call it as get disappointed and then press OK and then of course add a comment in here Felix gets disappointed and then we're going to do the cut and paste again so let's go to my first method drag my last do in order into the clipboard and then go to my get disappointed procedure and then drop it in here so now I have my three procedures for the scene get attention get rejected and get disappointed now I need to use these procedures so remember the technical term for using the procedures is called as calling my procedures so where do I call my procedures I would go to my first method and this is the place where I would call my procedures don't forget to add comments in here that would be your student name and chapter 2 lesson 3 and then put in date now I need to use those procedures that I created so I'm going to go to my scene this is my scene the whole world and if I look into my methods tab and if I look into my procedures here I would see my get attention my procedure I would see the procedures that I created get attention get rejected get disappointed now I'm ready to use these procedures to use these procedures I'm going to call it in my first method so when I call these procedures keep in mind call the procedures in sequence so we call get attention the next is get rejected and then next is disappointed now I'm going to click run and I'm going to test out my program to see if it works correctly it should work correctly because so this is how I take my already made code, divide it into three logical parts and complete my stepwise refinement. And this is how I take my already made program and take the code, do a stepwise refinement on it by dividing it into logical parts. And then based on those logical parts, I created the procedures. Then I showed you how to cut and paste using the clipboard and then when I call my procedure I would call it in my first method